you've probably noticed that we've been talking a lot about gaming lately, crypto, blockchain, Web3 gaming, and there's a good reason for that, right? It's already a red hot narrative for this bull market. And furthermore, gaming is such an accessible and fun kind of thing. It's always been a great way to onboard people, millions of people into crypto for the first time. And in this video, we're talking about a project that is solving a major problem that still persists in the Web3 gaming space. If you're a gamer and you've felt that struggle previously of fragmented, separated communities across different chains, you know that it's been tough because these communities scattered across those chains make it hard to collaborate with other players and that's not even considering the logistics technically of the blockchain maze. But today we're introducing a project that we recently came across. It's called Portal. And it's all about breaking down these multi-chain barriers. Imagine if anyone from any chain could easily integrate. It's a very elegant solution that could theoretically unlock billions of dollars across gaming markets. Also think about how much easier it's gonna be for Web2 gamers to enjoy a Web3 experience. The competition is gonna be crazy and the possibilities are gonna be endless. Let's discuss Portal. Welcome to the channel. My name is Maddie and this is Altcoin Buzz. Best of luck if you choose to invest, guys. I wish you all the very best. But I am not a financial or investment advisor either way. So just remember that this video is not official financial or investment advice. So what exactly is Portal? In a nutshell, it is the ultimate gaming platform because it's all about bringing games from different blockchains together under one roof. The interoperability protocol, Layer Zero, powers Portal and Portal makes magic happen by uniting over 200 games across its network. 200 games, all in one place, which is gonna give users an easier and more seamless multi-chain gaming experience. And they've already hooked up more than 40 blockchains, including big names like Ethereum, Polygon, Solana, Avalanche, Arbitrum, and others. Portal also already has a lineup of top quality crypto games, really the best titles that we have currently in the blockchain and Web3 gaming space. So titles like Star Atlas, Cypher Odyssey, DeFi Kingdoms, Crypto Unicorns, and Aperon, among others. And the core idea of this project is to make it easier to game, which as a concept is actually very simple. So they're taking away all the normal hurdles and that's allowing you to focus on having fun on gaming, right, in a simple way. Portal really is an entire gaming ecosystem because they have different tools focused on improving your gaming experience. They have their Portal Wallet. This is a wallet that takes away the difficulty of bringing regular games to Web3. And it uses easier login methods like Apple and Google ID. There's also a Portal Companion app. This app helps gamers find new games once they're out on the scene. Gamers can also trade in assets and stake Portal, that's P-O-R-T-A-L, via this app. And there's also a Portal Launchpad, which is where you can access their partner's upcoming NFT mints, token sales, and other drops. And so Portal is very much involved in solutions for both game publishers and users. For publishers, Portal pushes heavy distribution to games that need it. They provide global distribution via esports tournaments and streaming. And this also ensures that users have a simple gaming experience. So users can play any game on chain. And there are lots of qualities that I like about this project as a whole. They also have a lineup of top backers and partners within blockchain. So we're talking Dota 2, Magic Eden, WME Endeavor, and M80GG. And if you know the space, if you've been around the block a little bit, I'm sure you'd agree that these guys are serious players. They also have some pretty notable names in gaming serving as their advisors. So we have Jamie King. He's the co-founder of Rockstar Games. They're behind games, of course, as you probably know, like Grand Theft Auto. There's John Yao, the CEO of Team Secret. They're one of the world's biggest esports organizations. We also have Russell Hansen, ex chief scientific officer of Consensus. That's the company, of course, behind MetaMask. And Matt Dixon, ex head of business development for EA Games. So I've talked a little bit about Portal here and what they plan to achieve. Now let's dig a little further into their strategy because it's actually more sophisticated than one might think. Again, their goal is making Web3 gaming mainstream, and they're dead serious about that. They're aiming to bring in those traditional gamers but this time without all the headaches. Let me break down exactly how they plan to do that. First up is infrastructure. Think top-notch game platform, next-gen accounts, and a cross-chain coin. Smooth sailing, no bumps on the road, and super slick user interface and experience. Next is publishing, and Portal is changing the game in how games and gamers connect. They're solving the distribution puzzle. They link games with mainstream gamers through streaming, esports, digital collectibles, and other features. They also offer a unified account layer. So you can say goodbye to juggling multiple wallets and tokens, not something that we enjoy doing. 
Instead, with Portal, you get one account for all your gaming needs. There's no more hassle, no confusion, just one simple account to make things easier, less stressful, and more enjoyable. Portal solutions address the needs of Web3 gaming, and this leads to increased adoption of Web3 games, a better gaming experience, and better distribution that empowers and rewards developers. Portal's ambition is to onboard 1 billion gamers. That's a big number and it's very ambitious, but they already have over 200 games in their ecosystem, don't forget. The figures from this project are also very impressive because gamers viewed Portal's Twitter account over 2.5 billion times in December 2023 alone, just a few months ago. Portal had one of the biggest launches on Binance Launchpad, and Binance users staked about $9.2 billion into the Portal launch pool. But let's switch gears now and talk about the heart of the Portal platform, their very own native token. Again, Portal, P-O-R-T-A-L. And it's a game changer because Portal is not your average token. Instead, it works seamlessly across different chains thanks to layer zero. There's no chain discrimination. It plays nice with everyone. And Portal has real world pragmatic utility. Just some of its use cases include transaction fees, payments, governance, exclusive access, and staking. Staking Portal actually comes with a lot of cool benefits, which include access to NFT mints, game betas, and token presales. And again, you can buy Portal from Binance. Portal ensures that the mainstream audiences can and will enjoy Web3 games. Their partners create the cool stuff, and Portal ensures that they get into the right hands. There's a lot of growth lined up for this project. The team plans to focus on cross-chain expansion in the coming months. If you're in any way, shape, or form a gamer in this crypto slash blockchain slash web three space, you are surely gonna wanna keep an eye on Portal. And so if this market pulls back hard under this level and then consolidates and comes back, we're likely to sell and stall.